How much money do you think someone would pay to avoid an electric shock? What if I told you that people would shock themselves out of boredom? It may sound counterintuitive or even absurd, but an experiment conducted by a team of psychologists revealed a fascinating aspect of human behavior. Participants of the study were first asked to rate various pleasant and unpleasant experiences, including electric shocks. They also reported the amount they would be willing to pay, out of $5, to either experience or avoid each stimulus again. Then the participants were told to just stay in a room for 15 minutes. They didn't have their cell phones or other belongings they could entertain themselves with. Participants were told to just sit and think. They were, however, left with a button that would administer a shock when pressed. As it turned out, that button was better than nothing. Most of the people gave themselves at least one shock during the experiment. One particularly bored test subject gave himself 190 shocks. Over the course of 15 minutes, that's nearly one every four and a half seconds. Of the rest of the people who earlier said they would pay to avoid being shocked again, 67% of the men and 25% of the women pushed the button. Evidently for many people, the lack of an external stimulus is less bearable than a negative stimulus, and the reason for this isn't entirely understood. The participants were later asked what they were thinking about. Previous researchers claimed that a long time spent on self-focus can lead to negative thought cycles but they didn't provide any answers that could explain their behavior. The researchers do suggest, however, that people who can gain more control over their thoughts through certain techniques like meditation wouldn't be so inclined to shock themselves. That seems like a much better way to pass the time, doesn't it? Expand your knowledge of human behavior. Hit the like button and subscribe.